prayer. Oh Father, in our God, we want to thank you for another day that you have given unto us. We want to thank you, Lord, for what you have done to us. We want to thank you, Lord, for guiding, through, guiding us through all the night. You have kept us as in your care through the day. We have been walking in the light, bearing witness to your way. Lord, how we pray that you may continue being with us. Guide us in the footsteps of your son and lead us on the path to your everlasting day. Help us, Lord, to see you in each and everything we do, and especially this morning that, Lord, we want to glorify your holy name. Lord, we put ourselves into a mighty heart that you're going to enable us worship you, worship you, and pray to you that whatever we need, when we are going to ask from you, God, that you're going to provide it to us because you are our God. There is no other God who is I like you. We pray this trusting and believing in your holy name. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also with you. We have come together, the people of God, grow by his spirit, longing for his word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and be set in his peace. We are heirs of the Father. Joint renewed in the spirit. Yeah, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins in repentance and truth and trust, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So let us confess them to our Father. Item number three together. Eternal Father, God of our ancestors, before you are over all things forever, but through your Son we approach your throne. We have done wrong and we pray to do right. Our sins weigh the green in our hearts. Lord, have mercy, count them not against us. Grant us the joy of forgiveness and lighten our hearts with the glory of Christ who died and rose again for us. Amen. Lord of mercy, grant us your pardon and peace that cleansed that cleansed from our sins and with peace in our hearts, we may be free to serve you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are those who live in your house. Amen. Praise the Lord. The name of the Lord be praised. Let us for the glory. Glory to the Father in whom all things began. Glory to the Son who became the Son of Man. Glory to the Spirit who is the Son of the Lord of all forever. Amen. We'll have praise and worship.
together, people of God, Psalms 104 from 26 to 35. Together, the there the sheep go and to and fro, and the them which you found to frolic there. All creatures look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your heart, they are satisfied with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. When you take away their bread, they die and return to the dust. When you save the spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He who looks at the earth and the who touches the mountains and the smoke. I will sing to the Lord of my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. May my meditation be pleasing to Him as I rejoice in the Lord. But may sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked be no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning. Amen. Amen. It has come the first reading. from Isaiah chapter 65 from verse 17 to 25 Isaiah 65 from verse 17 to 25 and I will read For behold I create new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered or come to mind but be glad and rejoice forever in which I create For behold I create Jerusalem as a rejoicing and her people are joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. The voice of weeping shall no longer be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Verse 20. No more shall an infant from there live but a few days, nor an old man who has not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die 100 years old, but the sinner being 100 years old shall be up. Accrust. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruits. They shall not build and, and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. 
for as the days of a tree shall be the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Verse 23. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble, for they shall be descendants of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are still speaking, I will hear. Verse 25. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. That's the word of God. Book of Revelation, our second reading, chapter number 21, from verses 1 to verses 8. A new heaven and a new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for the husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write these down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the dusty I will give water, without cost, from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all these, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But the coward, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all lies, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death, and this is the word of the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord Church. Today we are reflecting upon our two readings from the Bible. And the both readings talks about the end times, especially giving the prophecies of what will happen at the end of the age. But this morning I want us to reflect upon the reading in Revelation chapter number 21 from verse 1 to verse 8. And I read, it says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth are fast away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem,
coming down out of heaven from the God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death. There will be no more mourning or crying or pain, for the old and older things has passed away. He who has seated on the throne has said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give drink without cast from the spring of water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be their God. For he will be my son, but the cowardly and unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic, acts, and idolaters, and liars, their place will be a fairy lake of burning silver. This is the second death. My brothers and sisters, I want us to reflect the word of God as it says today. And I want us to reflect upon a few things that are important in our lives as Christians today. Because this time, the end of the age is coming. The end of the world might be coming. This is the prophecy of John in this book of Revelation, chapter number 21, and even in the book of Prophet Isaiah. And it talks about the things that will happen at the end of time. Let us reflect upon two or three things that are important in our lives in these readings. These are the readings that are given to us in the lectionary and are important for us to reflect upon as we continue to serve our God. The point number one, John vision during this end of the age for the first heaven and the, fa the, the new, the first heaven and the first earth have passed away. They have gone, but there is a new heaven and there is a new earth that is here with us together. Jesus, we reflect him as the Lord of the churches. Jesus Christ is still with the church even now. He is the builder of the church. He is the encourager of churches, and he is there to uplift us in our ministry as a church, as St. Thomas Ongatarungai, as the church in our diocese, as the church in Kenya, and as a church everywhere in the world. Jesus also is reflected in this teaching as the lion over the nations. He is the lion of Judah. He is there to save us. He is there to be with us up to the end of the age. The Bible also reflects Jesus as the lamb among believers. Jesus Christ is the lamb of God. He is the son of God. And he is there together with us during this moment. The Bible says, From the smoke and the pain and the heat of the world, we will get the relief. Because all the old things will come to pass. But the new things will come when we believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. The atmosphere that we live in will be clean. My brothers and sisters, we are living in a moment when everything is dirty. There is a climate change. The sky is not clean. Our environment is not clean. Even our church is not clean. Even our hearts are not clean. But when we reflect and receive Christ in our, as our personal Savior, then the new things will come into our lives. We'll get a new atmosphere, get the new environment, we'll get the new climate, and everything will change for better as we continue to serve our God. A new heaven and a new earth translates the newness of life in Christ Jesus. When we receive Jesus in our personal lives, then we have a new heaven with us. A new heaven and a new earth will bring joy to the people of God. A new heaven, a new earth will bring joy to those of you who believe in Jesus Christ. But it will be a gnashing of teeth for those who doesn't believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. The old things will perish, but believers will endure forever. The growth and multiplication among the people of God will be evident as we continue to serve our God. Believers will bring change because our impact as believers will be felt here on earth. 
when the end of the age will come. Believers, you and I will, will bring change. You and I will bring multiplication to the people of God. Christians should focus on the second coming of our Lord as promised by the word of God. Our focus will be that day that Christ is coming to live among us, coming to judge the world. That is the, our focus in, during these end times. The beginning of eternity will start now, according to the prophecy of John in the book of Revelation chapter number 21. The beginning of eternity starts now for those who are with Christ. For those who are not with Christ, then there will be gnashing of teeth. There will be mourning. There will be crying all the time. But for those who are with Christ, will be able to reflect their Christ in them. They will not fear. They will multiply. They will continue with their belief. They will continue with their serving of Christ. And will continue rejoicing because of what Christ done does in our lives. There are signs that are important in our lives when we try to reflect Christ in our lives. Number one, there are those things that we reflect upon during this end of the age. Number one, during these end times, people become proud. People become abusive during these end times. People become greedy. People become disobedient. People become immoral during these times. Number two, during this age, the end of the age, there will be no fear of God reflected upon the people of God. Number three, earthquakes, famines, severe weather conditions will be felt by the world because people are disobedient in the eyes of God. They are not doing according to the will of God. We will see even diseases that has got no treatment as we have coronavirus among us this moment. But all in all, when we receive Christ in our midst, when Christ is in us, we don't fear. When Christ is in, with us, we have the fear of God. When Christ is among us, then immorality will be behind us. Abusive language, greediness, and disobedience will not be our portion in Jesus' name. But when we continue to serve our God, then our God will continue to bless us all the days of our lives. The Lord will power his wisdom. The Lord will power his spirit among us during this end age. So my brothers and sisters, as we reflect upon this word, then let us all of us come together. Let us call of us persevere in prayer. Let us first of us love one another. Let us all of us support one another. Let us support the work of God all the days of our lives. May God be with you as you continue to reflect upon the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So as I finish, may this word be your portion today, that Christ is living among you. Christ is going to be together with you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. And amen.
Yeah.